Welcome to this episode of Cooking with Kirby. Today we're in the backyard and we're going to be cooking up some barbecue. Today we're going to be grilling up some chicken on our Weber kettle and I'm going to show you how to make some lip smacking barbecue chicken quarters. So no further ado, let's get down to the recipe so I can show you how to make it. Since you're here, hit the like and subscribe button and make sure that the notification bell is ringed. Check me out on social media. That way you can get notification of all my new recipes. So I have two chicken quarter legs here. I already have them trimmed up. You know, usually you'll have like a big old fat piece right here with a bunch of skin, a little extra skin. I cut that off. And sometimes you'll have the tailbone uh, on there. I'll go ahead and cut that off. Some people actually like this bone cut off right here, but uh, I like it, you know, it adds flavor. But uh, I try to keep, for the most part, I try to keep most of the fat on the chicken. Uh, some of the competition guys, they like to take off the chicken skin and remove some of that fat. I don't. I like to keep that fat in there because as you cook it, all that fat is just going to get all in the meat. So that's how I like to do it. If you don't like all that fat, go ahead and take off the skin and remove it. But for today, we're going to be leaving it in there. All right, the seasoning that we're going to be using on this chicken is a house blend barbecue rub that I make. I made a video on this. I'll actually leave it in the video description and at the end of this video. This cost me right here less than a dollar to make. I have not purchased a barbecue rub since 2006. Why? Because I can implement whatever flavors into this rub I want to. And I play around with it a lot. My, my spices are never the same. I only have one recipe that's actually the same and I actually will probably want to get that out, you know, selling on the market, but uh, it's still in the works. But uh, yeah, I play around with barbecue rubs all the time. I implement, you know, a lot of Mexican flavors, you know, since I live out here in California and, you know, a lot of traditional barbecue flavors. So this is just a basic house blend, a little bit of uh, brown sugar, garlic powder, salt, black pepper, uh, smoked paprika. Uh, this actually does have a little bit of uh, New Mexico chili powder in there. So it adds like a little bit of smoky flavor to it and a little bit of heat, uh, some cayenne pepper. You know, I have a video. Check out the video. But yeah, we're just going to give a nice good rub uh, of this seasoning on these chickens. So I go ahead and I start on the bottom because the top needs a little bit more attention. I just give a nice coating of this uh, seasoning here all up on the back. You know, I rub it in because I want the meat to look like the color of my seasoning. Now you can add a binder. It really all depends on, on how you want it. You could put, you know, mustard on here, Worcestershire sauce, or Worcestershire, you know, depending on, you know, what flavors you want in there. Each one does give a different, you know, hint of the flavor there. So it just really depends on what you want. All right, now off to the top. Now, like I said, I try not to peel back this so much, but I do add a little bit of that rub in there. You know, kind of just get that in there, get your fingers in there, and just get that, that marinade in there. Same thing with the, the leg. But for the most part, you want to keep this skin all the way back. Now, the reason why is because when I cook it, I love that, that crunchy, you know, smoky skin. So, yeah, I always try to, you know, get it put back. Now we're going to just do the outside part of the skin. Just give it a nice coating of that seasoning. Kind of want to just cake it on there. And I let this sit for at least three hours. That's if I'm in a rush. If I can marinate my chicken and let it sit, I let it sit overnight. That is probably the best time, you know, for me to actually, you know, prep a, a bag. And yeah, it just comes out wonderful. But if you're out of time, you ain't got that much time, three hours is fine. And yes, when you're done doing all this, wash your hands. Soap and warm water. All right, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna put these in the fridge and I'm gonna let them sit for like about three hours. Uh, I'm gonna come out in the afternoon and cook these up. See you out on the grill. Okay, to explain how I'm going to be setting this up, I'm going to be doing indirect heat. So I'm going to be putting all my charcoal and wood chips on this side. And I'm going to be placing my food over here on this side. So I got some charcoal heating up. I'll be right back. Alright, so I got our chimney full of Kingsford Blue. 
I'll heat it up. All right, so I'm gonna be using some wood chips. This is a little bit of mesquite, hickory, and pecan. Has a really good flavor. That been these have been sitting in the uh, water for probably about an hour. You want to at least let them sit for at least an, uh, 30 minutes. But uh, this blend right here, the the pecan, mesquite, and hickory, has a really good flavor on the meat. It's really gonna get that smoke rolling. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put our grate in there, close everything up and let it get hot. All right, so we're gonna be putting our probe right here so that way we can see the temperature where the chicken's gonna be at. We're gonna go ahead and place our chicken quarters right here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just close this up. We're gonna let it do its thing for 30 minutes. So we wanna monitor that temperature inside the grill. So I'm shooting for around 350. But we're gonna let this cook for about 30 minutes. So for this first 30 minutes, we're gonna just let the chicken do its thing. You know, if you're looking, you ain't cooking. So I was able to stabilize the grill around 375 degrees. It's bouncing back and forth right now, but we got a little wind, so the gush kinda, you know, messes with that. But we're at about 375 degrees, so that gives me about probably maybe about a 45 minute to an hour cook. So we're gonna check on it in about 30 minutes and then we'll see how much longer we got from there. All right, so our 30 minutes is up. We're gonna go ahead and rotate our chicken. So at this point, as you can see, they're getting a nice, beautiful color. But we're not done yet. Now we're gonna be cooking it by temperature. We'll put a probe in there. We're gonna let these chickens do their thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick a probe into the thickest spot of the chicken. And it's reading about 145 degrees. Now, since the skin on it is looking really good, once it hits 175, I'll, I'll definitely just uh, go ahead and take it out, you know, and barbecue it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and close it up and let it do its thing. All right, as you guys can hear, we got the barbecue police rolling through, but uh, our probe has indicated that we're at 175 degrees internally on this one here. So let's go ahead and remove that probe. So I'm gonna start with the bottom first. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Now see all that juice that just came out as I squeezed it? That's that fat from underneath the skin. That right there is flavor. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some barbecue sauce on this side. Let that thicken up for about five minutes. A little bit longer. You know, you just wanna get a good glaze on there. Same thing with this side. Just give it a nice, good coating. All right, that heat's gonna thicken up that, that barbecue sauce. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cover this up. We're gonna let it cook for about five more minutes. All right, it's been about five and a half minutes or so. You can see that sauce is thickening up on us. We're gonna go ahead and flip it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and Based a little bit of that barbecue sauce right here on top of this one here.
So the reason why I like to cook chicken at 175 degrees internally, because it gets the skin nice and crispy. You know, all those spices on there, and especially letting it sit for a couple hours, just really dries out that skin and you get a crispy skin. All right, same thing as we did on the other side. We're gonna go ahead and just close it up and let it cook for another five minutes. All right, that five minutes is up. As you see, this thing has a beautiful glaze. I'll give you a little pro tip. You're gonna get a double glaze on that top part. Just go ahead and add a little bit more barbecue sauce. As you see, it's got a nice glaze already, but watch. I'm gonna let this one cook for eight minutes. See when it's done. All right, time is up, folks. Look at that glaze. Lip smacking ready right there. Final product right there. Just a beautiful glaze on that chicken. Give it a taste test. Mmm. Really juicy. Hot though. You get a lot of barbecue sauce. You get that smokiness from all the different wood chips that I use. It comes out really good in that meat. In the skin. And it's got like a little crisp to it. But it's starting to get a little soggy because of the barbecue sauce. But that, the flavors, impact with flavors, really delicious. You know, barbecue is easy. Simple techniques, you know, cook it on indirect flame and, and just let it do its thing. And you get to make some wonderful food that you can enjoy with your family. On the smoke flavor, you do have a difference in the, between the wood chips. You know, I use mesquite, hickory, and, and pecan. You know, you do have a distinct, you know, smoke flavor, so it came out really, really good. I'll definitely be using that again on chicken. Overall, the chicken came out fantastic. So if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button so that we can see future videos just like this and many more. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave it down in the comments section, and I'll get back to you. Now I got these other grilling videos, but check them out. Really good recipes. Now y'all be beautiful, and take care.